This is the finishing lab, and we're walking through a quick calibration on a Santinelli tracer. You want to grab your calibration jig with the Mark 162.83 at the top, and you want to put this into the tracer with all eight feet at each point and the 162.83 facing the top. Now this is the important part on the calibration. You have to hit the L button and hold it. While you're holding the L button within five seconds, you have to hit the R button, then let them both go. L, R, let them both go, and your center light's gonna flash. This is indicating that it is ready for calibration. Once you hit the center button, the tracer is going to start calibrating. It's going to run through up to three calibrations two times. So you're going to see the LMU or the stylus pops up, goes around once, goes down, pops back up, goes around once, goes back down, and on to the other side. It can do this up to three times. It's checking size shape and shape access. Once the tracer is done tracing you want to make sure you trace the button and trace the jig to confirm that the trace is correct. If you have an automated blocker, this will shoot over to your automated blocker, an ICE Mini, or a ICE 9000, or ICE 1000. If you're using a manual blocker, you'll have to uh, bring the data down to the edger and confirm the size, which we'll do here in a second. Once it's done, you're going to hit the data set button, which is going to bring it down to your edger and hit the menu button once and here's your circumference numbers of what it has traced we want it as close to 162.83 as possible 0.05 is within a good tolerance if it's over 0.87 or under 77 you should recalibrate the tracer For a rimlon trace, you want to take the pattern with the A and your rimlon trace tool. You're going to put this right on the back of the jig and you're going to open up the tracer all the way and put this right down on the bottom. Again, we're going to hit the same sequence of buttons. L, then R, let them both go and the center light should flash center lights flashing now you're gonna hit the center button and because the jig has kept this thing completely open your pin will pop up and trace your pattern Again, once it's done tracing the calibration, you're going to hit the R button to do uh, initial trace after. If you don't trace it after the calibration, when you hit the data set or you transfer it over to your blocker, nothing will come up. You have to remember to trace it. So once you're done tracing, again, hit the data set button, bring it down to the edger, hit the menu, and you want it as close to 162.83. The rim one tends to get a little bit, uh, stays a little bit more in calibration. Your frames tend to get out of calibration a little bit more because this stylist tends to hit and bump the frames. You want to be very careful around this stylus. My recommendation is to do a tracer calibration once a week on a Monday 
to keep your tracer up to size, which is going to transfer down to your edger. So if you're noticing a size issue all of a sudden, your culprit's going to be your tracer. Calibrate your tracer, your sizes will be on size.